Okay, now Lenny, we can't splash because there's lots of sharks, okay? All right. You guys, we just left port. We're about to hoist the main and sail for the day. We're going to a new place. We're going to Nassau. We're going to once and for all nip the myth in the bud that it's not safe for a two-year-old to dive with man-eating sharks. Yeah. We're really excited. Lenny's just started snorkeling, so he's actually going to be able to get in the water with these sharks for the first time. Some people think diving with sharks is crazy. A lot of people would think diving with a two-year-old in the water with sharks is definitely crazy. But we trust Andre, he's an expert. Stick around to see how it all unfolds. As I said earlier, we are sailing towards the island of Nassau, specifically to Jaws Beach, a fitting name for the site where the final instalment of the Jaws movie series was filmed. With no gas on board, we can't wait to arrive and fill up our bottle, make a coffee, pick up our mate David who's been on and off our boat as crew lately, and head off to see some sharks. I'm very excited. I, my excitement is being tempered by the fact that I need to pay attention to this front edge of the Jenica, darling. The wind is forceful enough that I can't use my light wind upwind sail. So I'm trying to point into the wind as much as I can with the downwind light wind sail, the code D. So I'm just looking at that front edge and every time it peels back, I go this way and every time it fills up again, I come back so that I can maintain a better course because the autopilot doesn't know if that front edge bends. Cutting in again guys, the latest with our regatta. I'm sure all of you know now by now about our regatta. I'm that actually I'm getting sorry to run over that. I'm no, getting right. I'm getting pretty amped about this. Yes, yeah, we put a lot of work into this, so it's gonna be four boats, including ours, two sailboats, a uh, power cat and our sailboat. Um, in collaboration with the Moorings, we wanted to say a huge thank you to the Moorings for their support in providing us with these beautiful boats. They're lending us a Moorings 5000 Sailing Catamaran, a Moorings 4000 Sailing Cat, and a Moorings 433 Power Cat. Yeah, they're legends. They're very good to deal with. Yeah. Um, anyway, today's competition. 72 hours from now, when this video is posted, we are going to ask you a single question in the comments down here, and the first person to comment the right answer wins. You have to be an active patron to win, so please post your full name with your comment so that we can make sure you're around on our Patreon page too. So we can stalk you. Yeah. So as well as the competition today, if you'd like another opportunity to win, you can still enter through the Moorings website. Just visit moorings.com forward slash SLV dash giveaway. And that's free for anyone to enter. I'll put the link for that one in the video description as well. And those two winners will be announced on our YouTube community page and Riley's Instagram on the 1st of March. Good luck guys, we'll be here checking your comments. Can you see hair up my nose? I hope not. We've nearly done it you guys. We're going into our anchorage and then we're gonna turn up into the wind, wind in the head sail and drop the main sail when the wind suddenly drops. It feels really fun and it's a bit of an adrenaline rush sailing over water this shallow with reef everywhere. You kind of have to keep, your, keep an eye out. A big curious turtle rocked up to our boat for a few minutes. Riley jumped in the water for a closer look. We hoped that the missing chunk out of its shell, eerily resembling a shark bite, wasn't a sign of what's to come. Oh, my God. 
was it green? Was it big or small? Oh, big. Was it? And was it fast or slow? Did it go fast or slow? Slow. Mm. What was he eating? Eating grass. Excellent analysis, Watson. That's a goal. David has arrived and he's like Santa Claus with all of his gifts at the moment. Yeah, for real. Hang on, there's something else I'm going to... No, not that. Nice. It is cool. I like mm. the shape and the design. Look at that detail. Yeah. Can't wait to open a coconut with that. Look out, coconuts. Are you eating chicken yeah, already? Well, it's on private Oh, I'm so jealous. I need to eat some too. I think it took him like 30 seconds and he was like... <laughs> David brought a hot chicken and we're so excited. Sarah's gone on Tinder and has found Mr. <laughs> Long Chocolate. <laughs> I fulfill your fantasies and make the wet dreams a reality. I eat your peach and make you sing. Let river flow down to the sea. Oh my god. <laughs> it's quite poetic. Perhaps it was anticipatory nerves knowing we were about to jump in the water with dozens of sharks, but we decided to head to the beach in order to work off some of our nervous energy. I'm just selecting some songs. What artist are you feeling? I wish we could play all of our music that we listen to on our videos, but we're not allowed to. You're gonna try and make me do the thousand rap challenge? Is that what's happening? Yep. Jeez, so this is what Riley did in quarantine. Anima, Tom York. Tom York, okay. Sarah, you're amazing. Oh. <laughs> Don't film what I'm making here. <laughs> what are you rice and butter. Oh, rice and butter for the kids. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> How is it, Riley? Very nice. Delicious. Andre, how you going, mate? I'm oh, good, mate. Very good. What are we doing today? We're going to go shark diving. So, you, see, you heard my Australian accent? Nah. Shark. Shark. All <laughs> oh, good. You can back up. Going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> Giving a of shit about her blonde hair. <laughs> when I think about sharks in the Bahamas, I think about Andre. Andre to us is the Bahamian shark man. We were lucky enough to cross paths with him years ago and he's become a great friend of ours. He's super talented at freediving, underwater photography and videography, and of course, taming sharks. I'll pop his Instagram in the description below. When we last dived with sharks, we lured them around La Vagabond with chunks of fish, followed by a bait pot. Today, it was kind of the same setup. The sharks wouldn't be fed, but would aggregate around us based on scent. Sharks have a huge range of hearing, often larger than smell. If Lenny was to get in the water, there would be no splashing allowed. So we woke up super early this morning and we were still late when Andre picked us up. We've just come to our first site. The Shark Rooney. Which is called the Shark Arena, not Rooney. No, Sarah called it Shark Arena. Oh, okay. And you can see sharks all around the boat at the moment. I haven't swum with this many sharks in so long. And Since the Chuamotos. Cut to footage. I'm kind of crapping myself. Lenny, are you going to have a look at the sharks under the water? With your goggles? Yeah. Yeah? Are you sure? Yeah. Sarah, are you going to? Yeah, why not? Alright, that's the spirit. <laughs> so we do, at this spot we do need to be careful about the splashing and any kids in the water. I believe the current's running this way, so it should be working in our favour. I'm going to put the bait to the bow and then let the scent drift back here and we're going to be doing the diving behind the boat. I'm you know, doing it.
Today we were free diving in about 15 metres of water. We had a mix of species, but mostly Caribbean reef sharks, nurse sharks, and a surprise, a massive tiger shark. Andre was actually saying that tiger sharks just aren't in this area. In fact, he'd never seen one here in Nassau. We were very lucky to get to swim with this one. They really are majestic creatures. Okay, now Lenny, are you listening? Yeah. Andre said we can't splash because there's lots of sharks, okay? So you have to step in the water instead of jump. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Got it. I did that. Yeah. Thank you guys for I really forced her to get in. <laughs> awesome oh my Sarah, goodness. Overcoming your fear. Now you swam with the tiger shark too. Wow. That's a lot in a day. <laughs> How many sharks did you see? I see three and start and fishes. How many sharks? Big sharks? Yeah, big sharks and fishes. <laughs> Did you see any crabs? Yeah, crabs and fishes. Wow. Whale sharks? Yeah, whale sharks and fishes. And Sarah saw a bunch of sharks. That was the first time. Yeah, you I'm saw used a to shark. swimming in the lakes in Canada, so that was quite the experience. Yeah, that was cool. They're so graceful. They're such beautiful swimmers, but I definitely was didn't want to get too close. <laughs> <laughs> so we've all hopped out of the water, but David and Andre are still in, and a submarine has come past just casually, a bright orange submarine, and it's really funny because Lenny's obsessed with this show called Octonauts, where they have an octopod, and it looks exactly like an octopod. Um, but I've never seen a submarine like this. Apparently two people are inside, it can go for eight hours or it can stay down for five days in an emergency, which I just think is cray cray. We left the submarine behind for a different kind of underwater site, a shipwreck. Laying on the ocean floor at 22 metres deep was the Ray of Hope, a famous shipwreck where anywhere from five to 15 sharks hang out.
heavy. We've all been reined in, we're all stuck inside. The wind swung around too. So Andre is leaving because we're losing daylight and there is the biggest storm right now. Good luck, Trey. How's that? Wet. <laughs> really wet. I feel so bad for Andre. Yeah, me too. Well, he's used to it. Yeah. He's big boy. He's big boy.